Hey guys, uh, this is a build that I've recently posted on social media that I finished. It is in a Liam Lee OE11. Um, I built this uh, build pretty much for my wife to do shopping and occasional gaming on, okay? Uh, spec wise, it is the 12700K on a Z690 formula with uh, 32 gigabytes of, I think 5800 CL, I wanna say CL34. I'm not too sure off the top of my head. Uh, reason being is one of the earlier kits, not as amazing as some of the later kits that came out, okay? But she's not a competitive, must get 3000 FPS person, so it's fine, all right? Uh, her monitor is actually a 4K uh, high refresh rate monitor, not the monitor that's connected to it right now. But I just wanted to uh, address uh, some comments and questions I've had about this build, uh, mainly is that uh, the three 120 millimeter fans that a lot of folks have said you need more fans or they're curious to see what the performance is of the GPU in the in, inside the case and the GPU with just three fans and so forth. So um, from my perspective, I believe in don't add more fans than you need. Um, I know some folks like to do it for aesthetic purposes, and I totally get that. But you know, you, even with radiators and such, you kind of have to keep in mind uh, when you add things like radiators into your case more than you need, you're also restricting that airflow. Even if you put a fan on it, there's still some restriction there that you're creating. So uh, in this case, I felt three fans was fine because I know this is not a rendering station, right? This is a gaming station at most. So in which case, I'm gonna see 50% to 70% CPU usage, and that GPU will run, normally speaking, anywhere from like, let's say 420 watts to 450 watts, okay? And that's a pretty beefy cooler, and I know it's capable. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna jump in here, I'm gonna load up the CPU uh, in ADA64, and I'm gonna run Furmark at the same time, or Combustor. And all the BIOS settings are in auto, okay? So XMP, uh, MCE is on auto. It's not, so the BIOS will decide whether to enable it or not. It is on auto OC, okay? So I feel this is very similar to what a lot of people, if they were to build their own PC and they're not the twinkering type, you know, they would leave a lot of these things on auto outside of XMP, okay? So this is reflective of what a lot of folks would have, you know, if they built their own stuff, okay? So. No voltage tweaking, none of that. Okay, so right now, what I'm gonna do is right away, uh, you'll notice that the GPU is overclocked though. Now the GPU is overclocked to 120% uh, power limit. It's running the Strix BIOS. This is why it's 120 and not 133. All right, so it can pull up to 600 watts. Okay, uh, it probably won't, um, not in combustor at least, but it'll pull a nice 500 something. So I'm gonna start ADA64. Now my CPU is at 100% usage. You can see it on the top, okay? And now I'm gonna run Furmark or Combustor, and I keep calling it Furmark. Um, all right, so let me move this out the way. And let's turn the sensors on, GPU-Z. Uh, the fan curve for the GPU is on auto, so it's whatever the box came with. It's not something I set manual, so we'll see how that gets impacted. So right now, um, my fan speed on my GPU is definitely ramping up, it's already 59. And you can see, you can't see the GPU temperature here because I can't find my ADA key. So we're gonna have to look over here. Um, it's gonna be rising, obviously. It's also up here. Um, okay, I'm kind of expecting, did my overclock? There you go, there's my overclock. Cause I was looking at the clock speed, it was kind of slow. So. There it is, uh, power draw right now. His board power draw is 483 watts, which is definitely not low. Um, 490 watts. Yeah, that's pretty much what most 4090s would do. Like a lot of 4090s are actually lower than that because something like a 4090 Supreme is capped at 520. So something like a 4090 Trio is capped even lower. Okay. So this is, I think, uh, worst case scenario, right? Where you have 100% CPU usage and you have 100% like GPU usage nonstop, okay? So I'm gonna let this run for like 20 minutes. 
I'm gonna come back and I look at the temperatures I get. And then we're gonna add three fans to the bottom and see if that makes a difference or not. It's been, let's see how long. Uh, I walked away, I wasn't really paying attention to it. It's been 21 minutes since I started. Um, I see that it says throttling detected. Um, that means MC was most likely enabled and it's, I was 4C to TJ Maxx. Okay. So CP package, I hit 96 at one point. What is it now? Um, one second, let me see here. Currently, I'm at 80 something. Okay. So an average 80s to 90s. All right, anyway, uh, I'm not using the 12th gen bracket. Uh, for those wondering, that tends to lower temperatures by a little bit. So I'm personally not surprised that it thermal throttled. Uh, that that will happen to you if you have MCE running and you don't kind of adjust your voltages. Uh, if you run an actual workload nonstop, you will thermal throttle. It's just, it's just you know, a lot of folks, they don't, they don't run Cinebench. They don't run these things. Uh, so they think their CPUs, they're like, oh, my temperatures are awesome. Your temperatures are not loaded as much as it can be, okay? Um, in, in gaming, you almost never see 100%. So let's just take a look at our temperatures real quick. Um, my maximum fan speed on the GPU was 75%. All right, let me click that. Yeah, 75% was the maximum fan speed I had on this GPU. And the, my maximum temperature was 73.8. Okay, um, so not didn't hit 100% fan. Okay, so as you can see, my average temperature. I mean, there were some times where I was talking while the computer was on, so I don't want to calculate that into it. Um, but yeah, I did hit 96C on one core at least. Um, but yeah, I remained in the high 90s to 80s. So definitely that bracket would help. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add three fans to the bottom. And I'm going to use these uh, Inwin, S Inwin Saturn 120s. They're pretty good fans. Um, they actually move quite a bit of air. And they actually, do these right here. And they actually spin a lot faster than the SLs. The SLs are not great performing fans. Um, I have a lot of them. They look nice. But real truth is they're, not, they're just not that great as a fan. Okay. So I'm going to pause the video here. And put the fans in and come back. I put th the three fans at the bottom. I set them with the controller to 50%. So they're not running full, but they're definitely audible at 50%. All right. So I'm going to zoom into the screen again. Okay. And now I'm essentially going to do the exact same thing I did before. Okay. Um, I'm going to first load up ADA to 100%. And then I'm going to run combustor. Okay, at 4K. Run stress test. Okay, now move this aside. You can see, same overclock on here. Now, I didn't set the fans to 100%. I did think about that, but I felt that 100% is literally just shoving hot air from the GPU right into my CPU radiator almost immediately. Okay, so I think 50% is a nice balance, you know, some folks might have that set. On auto, I think, you know, it'd probably go to 50, 30, 40, 50% um, if you had it on auto and you didn't configure your fans, right? So I'm going to let this run for 20 minutes and I'll come back and I'll see if it's any better than when I had it without. Now, just to recap, why I didn't have the three bottom fans, I did hit 96C on one core. And at the end of 20 minutes, some of my cores uh, were in the 80s and some of my cores were in the 90s, okay? So right now it's a little too early to tell, okay? But so far my CPU, it seems to be the same as when I started earlier. I mean my GPU. Um, so I'll let this run and we'll come back and check it out. Okay guys, um, I'm back. Uh, it's actually been longer than 20 minutes. Um, let me see. It's been 30 minutes since I started Ada. Uh, so let me just stop this. I have an overheating detected. So it seems didn't change that. 
Uh, let's see here. My highest core ever was 95 degrees, so one degree cooler. Everything else is kind of in the same range as it was before in terms of thermal max. All right, so once again, this is expected MCE, you know, pump side voltage. You know, if you're running 100% load, you're going to kind of get to deal with that. Let me stop this real quick too, combustor. So let's take a look here. My highest GPU temperature was 72. I think previously was 74, right? So let me take a look at my max fan speed. So my max fan speed for fan was once again 73. Uh, I think it was 74 before, right? So my GPU temperature max dropped like two degrees and my max fan speed for my GPU hasn't changed. And the temperature for my CPU in reality hasn't changed either. Okay, if you really think about it, right? So uh, essentially the three fans has not helped anything, right? So it hasn't made it better and necessarily hasn't made it worse either. So do you really need the three fans then? Probably not. So that, that comes back to, it's kind of what I expected, uh, you know, that in this kind of a setup, that the three fans at the bottom was not really gonna do much, especially in a vertical GPU position. And the fact that, you know, this is a, this, this cooler dumps a lot of hot air in the case and you're just moving more hot air in the case. You're not extracting it faster or anything. Um, so not surprising. I just wanted to check the board power draw uh, before I end this video here. Mm, let me see here. I can find it. Okay, so my maximum board power draw was 507 watts. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty much worst case scenario, like I was saying. Uh, I did forget to mention the temperature of this room. It's about 77 degrees in here, which is about 25 degrees Celsius, I want to say. So with that said, um, I hope this is an interesting uh, tidbit for some folks. And that, you know, I guess this may help in a situation where... Um, I know nobody really wants to buy like, let's just say, you know, if you're into like uh, expensive RGB fans, like the Corsair QLs, they're expensive, like $50 each. Or even the Leonese are like $30 each. So you're looking anywhere somewhere sometimes between 100 bucks to 150 to get three more fans at the bottom, right? So I, I've seen bills where people spend $300 on fans, but then could have put that money towards a graphics card or could have put that money towards, you know, like a better CPU or better motherboard it, maybe not so much on the motherboard part but definitely better CPU like I saw a post today where some guy posted on Facebook he had like literally I want to say $300 worth of fans $400 worth of fans almost because he had like push pull on every QL every 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 part of his dynamic was filled to QLs and he had a 5600x okay so that's just a scenario where you spent your money wrong Okay, um, so if you want to fill your case with fans for the looks, go for it. But as you can see, in some use case scenarios like this one, the three fans at the bottom doesn't do anything for you. Okay, so with that said, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.